Today we're going to look at MADCAM. MADCAM is a CNC, computerized numerical control, program that works within Rhino to generate a tool path that you can send out to a machine tool, like a milling machine, to, gen to make a part. And in front of you here we got a rectangle and with half an egg sticking up. And what I'm going to do is just mill the top of the rectangle and the profile of the egg. Now the first thing with MADCAM is I have render, uh, have rendered on for this viewport is we've got to make sure that our mesh settings are correct. So we go up to Tools, Options, Mesh, pull that up. Alright, now these are the settings that MADCAM recommends that we've used. For the sake of the demo and speed, I've already done these for you, but that's it. Alright, we click OK. Now the first thing is we've got to tell MADCAM where, where the part is. I've joined the rectangle and the egg together, so we button over here is Select Surfaces for MADCAM to act on. We click on the part, hit Enter get a green box and that's going to be the rough material that we first start with. Next thing that we're going to do with MADCAM is select our tool. We click on the tool menu. Now what happens is we're actually in effect on the screen going to mill the part as we go through. So this will be the first tool that's going to be used in the tool path program. So what I want to use is I've already pre-made it. It's a flat end with 200 thousandths diameter. Now with MADCAM it comes with some pre-made tools that you can very easily modify or change. This one has a diameter of 20 thousandths. It's a length of 4 inches, but the flutes on the side are only a half inch. I've set preset the feed for X and Y to 30, and the Z feed to 30, and the spindle speed to 400 thousandths. Stock to leave 0 there. And you can load up other tools. You can save, mix, match. It's very flexible, but this is going to be our first tool to flat in for roughing. We click OK. Next we pick on MADCAM's menu, Roughing. Now we have a bunch of choices here of how it's going to work and you can modify this. Again I've set it up except for the stock to leave. Since this is our roughing pass I want to leave some material on the part for our finishing path to mill off, past, passes to mill off. So go through, we're OK. MADCAM's going to go to work here and generate the tool path over our geometry. This will take a couple of minutes. Okay, so there's our tool path. Now MADCAM comes with a simulator and what we can do is watch the tool actually on the screen go around and cut the part. We're on our roughing pass. Now you can wait to the very end. We have two more finishing passes to make, but I like to do each one so I can check it out. We click on the simulator. There's our rough material in the green. We click start. The blue rod is our end mill. Again, we're in a roughing pass. We're not going to finish up. It'll just do the rough profile. We're leaving some material for our finishing pass go through. I like this. Okay. So let's do our finishing pass. As I stated before, you have to choose your tool. So now we got to choose over our finishing. And for finishing, I want to use a 200 thousandths diameter ball end mill. Click on that. Comes up. All the settings have been preset. We've uh, got our feed, the X or Z. We're not cutting as much material so we can go a little bit faster. We click OK and that'll be the next tool. Alright, now the next pass we're going to make is our Z finishing. I'll click that and get that started. Again, all of our choices, but now we're leaving no material. It's our finish pass. We click OK. And what our Z pass does is this is the plunge. It's going to do all the vertical stuff. And the f next finishing pass we're going to do will be our horizontal stuff. Our horizontal pass getting all the flat surfaces. Okay, so let's look at our Z finishing pass on our simulator. Notice that it's, I haven't refreshed it. If I had clicked the red dot, it would have given us the stock material again, but this way we can see what that pass does. Goes through, getting a little closer here. Alright, now we'll do our planer, which is our flat surface. Same tool, but we choose this guy. Planer finishing. Settings are there. We click OK. Alright, so let's take a look at it in the simulator. Now, I didn't have a, a fillet around the edge of the uh, egg and the flat surface, so what you're going to get is half the diameter of the tool there. And it's going to be a little rough. I didn't really make a pass for that. That's pretty close. Sick a demo. Going across the top. Sweet. Alright, we're done. Alright, the next step in this is now that we've got this geometry on the screen, we need to export it into a file that a CNC machine can understand. And one of the things is, oh, there's a lot of different CNC 
CNC machines and controllers. And so what we're going to do is run it through what's called a post processor. That's this button. Now, MADCOM comes with a selection of posts, and you load those guys up here. There's different ones, HPGL, ISL, but we're going to use the ISO G code text just for the sake of this. Close. Open. And we can set our cutters default from toolpath. Our home position, I want to make that 0, 0, and then 1 inch, and 191 thousandths. And then we click Post, and we'll go ahead and generate it. We're going to save it as 1. Done deal. So now let's open that up. Take a look at it on the screen here. And this is the code that MADCAM generated. Uh, I know some of what this means. I know GOO is rapid travel, and that's the X coordinate it's going to rapid travel to from where it is, and the Y, and then the Z. Z01, G01 is feed, and then you can see the feed of 30. You also go up a little bit, we can see our first tool, the flat end mill of uh, 200 thousandths diameter, and then after we're hitting into F, the G01, you notice we go to just different positions, so it goes from each there. It goes down. Pretty much MADCAM works very well. I like it a lot. Thank you.